in theory, it certainly sounds good, a world alliance where there would be championships and uh, you would know the different organizations coming together to see who had the top fighter. Mm -hmm. What do you think at this moment? Yeah, it's going to be very difficult. <laughs> you know, they, they're going to need the UFC in there for sure, and uh, you know, they have to say yes. So uh, let's, let's wait for that first. Well, with us is a man who is on the panel, the advisory panel, and if it came to that, would be among those, I think Couture's on there with you, that would help choose uh, who would be matched up if this all comes about. This World Alliance, Pat, do you think it can work? Absolutely, and uh, we've got support from basically every fighter that we've spoken with. Almost every organization is on board already. Uh, they're very excited about it. And the way I look at it is, if we do not create an undisputed world title belt, the sport will never grow any more than it already has. One organization has grown quite a bit, but that <coughs> does not produce uh, great fighters across the board. It does not help the sport grow. And if, if we don't create this uh, undisputed world title belt, the fighters are never going to get paid what they're worth. Uh, they're not going to get the endorsement dollars that they deserve, and, and the fans are not going to get the fights that they truly deserve. Does with uh, the success done right now of Elite XC, and they've got their network deal, Sport Fight is getting their network deal, uh, does this open things up a little bit where the UFC kind of has to come and look at some of these other organizations you think that might eventually create some kind of come together in this sport? Well, you would hope so. You know, <laughs> you, know you gotta try and put them in the corner somehow. And if everybody can form a confederacy and, and you know, you get together and then challenge the, you know, the 800 pound gorilla in the room, well, then it's gonna work for them. Put a pig in a dress, you still got a pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Whammoth thing is a good idea. It's great. The biggest problem is the biggest organization, the 800-pound gorilla he's talking about, is the UFC, and Dana White doesn't want to have anything to do with anyone. When you were talking about all those belts that are out there and everyone having these belts, that all of these belts, whether it's the UFC's belts, Elite XC, Strike Force, these are all promotional belts. What the WAM organization is trying to do is say, look, it does not matter which organization you're fighting for, we're going to name who is the best fighter, whether you're fighting for Elite XC, UFC, Strike Force, we're going to say which is the best fighter. It's for the promoters to come together and make those matchups that the people are going to want to see as far as putting the best fighters together. They're, the UFC has got an incredible stable of fighters. But there are people outside of their stable of fighters, you know, Fedora, Milenko, Josh Barnett at heavyweight, now Tim Sylvia, or Andre Arlowski, that have absolutely the ability to beat, you know, the UFC champion if put in a fight at the right time. And there are other guys in weight classes, and that's what this organization is there to do. It's to try to bring together the best fights so the fans see the best fights against the best fighters. To get this and other great HDNet programming, call your cable or satellite provider and ask for HDNet.